ukulele should you buy? So, what ukulele should you buy? Um, it's a question I get asked a lot. I see it asked on social media all the time. And I'm afraid it's not an answer I can give you. All right, I can give you advice and information which is gonna help you in your quest to buy your perfect ukulele. Um, but I can't tell you what ukulele to buy and neither can anybody else. Right, so we're in week two of lockdown in the UK at the minute. You might be able to tell I've had a lockdown haircut. Um, I'm hoping in a few years time I can look back at this video and go, ooh. Um, so, obviously the way people are buying ukuleles at the moment is slightly different, but I'll go through the information that I would normally give out and just sort of touch upon that as well. All right, so I'm gonna give you advice and info, hopefully, that is going to enable you to go and look for your perfect ukulele. Now, I mentioned a moment ago that nobody can give you the correct answer as to what ukulele you should buy. Um, it does make me laugh. Somebody will ask um, on social media, oh, what ukulele should I buy? And then you get a hundred people coming in and saying, well, I've got this, I've got that. Well, that isn't actually very useful because everybody has got a different need when it comes to their perfect ukulele, all right? So I will just run through some of the basics. There are really two things you need to consider. Your budget, how much you're willing, need, or want to spend on a ukulele, and what size ukulele you need to buy. Okay, so budget, all right? You've got to decide how much you need to spend on an instrument. Um, the easiest way of explaining this is if you spend too little, you're gonna end up on something that you can't play, unplayable or very difficult to play. Um, they are, one of the students bought these, one of these a couple of years ago, cost less than a tenner. You can see it doesn't even have any strings on it. I couldn't tune it, it was unplayable. At some point, I'm gonna turn it into a clock. That is the only use that I've got for something like that, okay? Um, so don't waste your money on something that's just too cheap. Um, you go to the other extreme, don't go and spend hundreds of pounds or dollars on a ukulele that in six months time you've decided you can't be bothered anymore, you, you don't enjoy playing it, all right? So you've got to be sensible with your budget. So how much should you spend on your first uke? Um, if you're looking to buy maybe a ukulele for a small child um, and they want a coloured soprano ukulele, by spending probably £25 upwards, between £25 and £50, you're going to get a playable ukulele. All right, it's not going to be the best quality ukulele, but it will be playable. Um, couple of brands off the top of my head, Octopus, we buy those in school, um, Macala, Michaela, um, the ones with the little dolphin, all right, they're another really good soprano coloured uke. Um, for adults, you're going to probably want maybe a concert size, I will talk about sizes a bit more in a minute. Um, again, some of the older students in school with me, they buy concert ukes and for a nice online cheap brand, this one is going to cost you less than about £40. It is more than playable. Okay. It is a cheap ukulele. Okay. Um, I batter this in around. This is the one I take back and forth to school with me every day. Um, but it, it's playable. Okay. That's the main thing you've got to think about. Whereas, if I do a quick swap for a minute, this one, this is my snail ukulele um this one was 300 and something pounds 350 odd or a little bit above um okay again more than playable very nice to play um but there is absolutely no need for a beginner to go out and spend um that kind of money now if you do enjoy playing the ukulele, you will discover UAS. What? 
ukulele acquisition syndrome. It's a real thing, okay? Um, I can pretty much guarantee if you enjoy playing the ukulele, you will end up with more than one. So if you don't spend loads of money on your first uke, you will probably upgrade, all right? Um, so there is no reason to go and spend hundreds of pounds on your very first ukulele, all right? Which then goes back to this one. Now, this was one of the first ukes I bought. Um, 25 pounds you can still buy them now for under 30 pounds it's plastic okay no i had to have it because of the welsh flag but it also means i can play it outdoors it doesn't matter if it gets wet there is no wood on this at all um and for such a cheap ukulele it is playable it's not the best quality all right but it is going to get you started so if you're looking to buy um, a starter ukulele for a child or for an adult, you don't need to go and spend loads of money. Um, you do need to spend some money. £25 to about £50 is going to get you something playable, depending on the size. £80 up to £100, £150 is going to get you a tidy quality brand. Um, but you don't need to go and spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on your first ukulele gotta tell you this as well okay this is what UAS does a um, couple of days ago on one of the Facebook groups I was on it was a brilliant somebody posted I've got a ukulele coming in a couple of days what can I do to prepare myself and one of the first brilliant replies was don't buy any more ukuleles till the first ones arrived all right UAS is real so what size ukulele? So you've roughly decided your budget um, and now you've got to decide what size. So hang on a sec, what do you mean different sizes? Well, there are four main sizes of ukulele, ranging from your little soprano, then we've got a concert, then a tenor, and then a baritone ukulele. Now, I, I will talk about the baritone shortly, but that is slightly different. So, little soprano, bigger tenor as you can see all right there's quite a difference with the size but they're identical to play top string next string next string hoping they're in tune and then the only actual difference on my soprano i've got a high g and on my tenor i've got a low g now many tenors have the high g on them okay but they are identical to play it's just the difference in size. Now, I've seen big people playing sopranos and little people playing uh, tenors or bigger ukuleles. All right. So again, we're back to it's really down to personal choice. Right. So four main types. This is the smallest. There are smaller um, ukuleles in this, but as a general idea, this is a soprano. It is 21 inches in length. All right. Um, these are absolutely great for small children, um, but adults can play them. All right. Now, again, personal preference. This isn't my favourite sized ukulele. Um, I just prefer concert, but there are times when I really enjoy or need to play a little soprano ukulele. All right, so there we go. That's the little baby one. So next size up is our concert ukulele. Um, 23 inches in total length for that. Now, because they're a little bit bigger to play, but remember exactly the same as a soprano, um, if you've got bigger hands, sometimes you can find it easier um, to learn chords. All right, and you're exactly the same. So that's a concert-sized ukulele. Okay, a little bit bigger than the soprano. So our tenor ukulele, and um, this is the one you saw a moment ago. Now these are twenty-six inches generally all right in length so again a little bit bigger um now as i mentioned they are the same tuning all 
All right, now this one has got a low G on it, but when I had it, it was a high G, just like the sopranos and the concerts. All right. So this one does sound a little bit different because of the low G. What you do tend to find is you get a more um, mellow sound rather than sort of um, a sweeter sound. I, I would describe this as more mellow compared to the soprano. But again, it, it's, it's not necessarily down to the size of the instrument. The, all of those things, what wood it is made out of, whether it's laminate, whether it is solid wood, all of those things contribute to the sounds as well. Okay, so there we go. There is our tenor ukulele. Okay, so the baritone ukulele. All right, I did mention it a couple of moments ago. If I show you, there's a tenor. All right, the baritone is bigger again. Um, now, if you're just looking to play ukulele, this is different, all right? Um, sopranos, concerts, and tenors are tuned uh, A, E, C, G. Baritone is tuned D, G, B, E. It's different strings on it. It's the same chord patterns, but you're gonna end up with different chords. All right, it's a lovely sounding instrument, but it is different. It's 30 inches, all right, in scale, or the size of it. I'm trying to get that so you can actually see all of it, 30 inches. So it, you imagine that compared to a little baby soprano. All right, there's a massive difference there, okay. Um, so there's your baritone. If you're just looking to play ukulele, don't look at the baritones for now. Um, and also, I should mention bass ukuleles, they're actually roughly the same size as this, but they are like bass guitars and double basses to play. So um, go and check out my video on bass ukes if you want to know more about those. But there we are, there's your baritone ukulele. So hopefully you now understand um, the different sizes of ukuleles available, um, and we've talked about budget. So the only other thing is, where do you buy your ukulele from? Now, I know I'm filming this at the minute in, in the middle of a world lockdown, but I'm gonna give you the same advice as I would give normally, all right? First and foremost, if you can, go to your local music shop, all right? I know at the minute that's difficult. However, saying that, check because your local music shop may still be doing online things, all right? Why should you buy from your local music shop? Well, first and foremost, you can actually play the ukuleles. You can try them out. You can try your different sizes. You can try your different brands. You can try the different price ranges. That's the first thing. Second thing is they are more likely going to be able to give you advice. All right. Um, my local music shop, I'm going to give him a shout out the music shop Neath. Leighton, he's absolutely brilliant in there. I can go in there sometimes just have a chat. I can go in there um, and spend loads of money, but he's always helpful and full of advice. All right. And also you're supporting a local business, really important. So first and foremost, if you can go to your local music shop, that's not always possible. You might not have a local music shop or your local music store might not stock ukuleles. So next place I would recommend looking is the specialist ukulele shops. Now, obviously I'm in the UK. I know that they're, they're all over the world, all right? Go and, go and check out, in fact, go and check out the resources on my Ukulele Wales website, ukulele.wales because um, there, there are loads on there. Um, but your specialist ukulele music shops, even now, most of them are open um, and they're selling online, all right? They are absolutely brilliant, all right? Give them a ring, give them an email. They will give you fantastic advice and more than likely, the instruments are gonna be set up really well for you to play, all right? So again, I'm gonna give out some shouts at the moment, Southern Ukulele stores, absolutely first class. World of Ukes up in Carlisle, uh, Duke of Uke, 
in London, all right? These are all small, well-established, specialist ukulele shops. You're gonna get good advice, you're gonna get a decent ukulele, um, and they're gonna be really, really helpful. Right, can't do either of those for whatever reason. Um, there are big online music shops. Many of them have a huge range of ukuleles. So, advantages, you can buy a ukulele with peace of mind that if something goes wrong, you're gonna be able to exchange it. Um, however, you're not gonna get the sort of first-hand advice you get from the first two places, all right? You might be lucky and get a bit of an email back, but you're really not gonna get that personal touch. Um, but having said that, many of the online shops, uh, again, Gear for Music, um, GAC, Toman in Germany, they have a huge range of ukuleles, very often at very competitive prices, you're just lacking that personal touch. And very often as well, the ukuleles might not be set up really well to play. Now it could be you're more than happy to have a go of doing that, all right? But just something to bear in mind. So that's the online general music shops. And then you've got, I've got to mention them, eBay and Amazon. Um, I have bought many, many instruments over the years from both, not just ukuleles, I've actually bought some very expensive instruments as well, but you really do need to know what you're looking for when you're doing that. Now, I'm talking about maybe for a beginner ukulele, spending less than £50. What do you need to be aware of if you're buying from eBay or Amazon? Um, you're not going to get the sort of personal service you get from the shops. You may, if you have an issue and you need to exchange it, have problems there. Very often the instruments, and this isn't a bad thing, but very often the instruments are coming from China, so you may need to wait. Um, and it, it's just knowing what you're buying, all right, if you're going to buy from eBay or Amazon. As I said, I've bought many, many instruments over the years. Um, most of the time I haven't been disappointed, but a couple of times I've been quite glad that I've known how to fix a little issue, all right? So, um, and also as well, just make sure if you're paying, you know, you're not throwing a load of money away on somebody who might not be a reputable seller. Check feedback, particularly on eBay. Um, that also leads me to, if you're buying a ukulele, there are thousands and thousands of reviews on YouTube. Go and check them out because it might be that somebody is reviewing the very ukulele that you're looking at. Um, right, I'm gonna be careful the way I say this. Um, there are some YouTube videos where the person may be sponsored uh, by a particular brand or have an affiliate with them. Sometimes they're very clear about that. Sometimes not so much, okay? So just bear in mind, if you are watching a review, um, has that person been sponsored by the make of the instrument that they're reviewing? Because that might just have a little bit of an impact on what they're telling you, all right? Just be aware of that. Um, a reviewer I can wholly recommend got a ukulele, all right? Baz, he's done some brilliant reviews, hundreds of reviews. Go and check those out. So just be aware if you are watching reviews, um, take everything with a bit of pinch of salt sometimes. Okay, so that gives you an idea of where you can buy your ukuleles from. So we've looked at budget, sizes, where to buy your uke. Go back to what I said at the beginning. I can't tell you what ukulele to buy. Nobody can tell you. They can tell you what they like or what they enjoy playing, all right? But each person buying a ukulele is gonna have different needs. So bear in mind your budget, what size, where you're gonna buy it from, use a little bit of common sense. By all means, watch reviews, just think about who is reviewing it. Um, and remember, if you're gonna ask on social media what ukulele should I buy, you're gonna get 100 different answers, okay? As always, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, please drop them below. Don't forget to subscribe 
so you don't miss out on new videos and see my hair grow. Um, and thanks for watching.